Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk to you and actually put, do a little trial of a new foundation that I've got and I've been dying to try it for absolutely ages uh, and it's the Cover FX Drops, now that's the foundation and I also bought the kind of infusion drops that you can mix it in with. Um, I didn't know what, whether I was going to like it or not but I actually absolutely love it. I'm still kind of learning how to use it, there's so many different ways you can use it, you can use it just just mix the foundation drops with anything. You can just mix it with this. You can mix it with your favorite moisturizer. You can mix it with your primer. You can mix it with old foundations that you've kind of got and they're not quite good enough but you don't want to throw them away or they're a little bit too dark and buy a pale one or they're too pale and you can buy a darker color. Um, or you can, you know, if you've got a tinted moisturizer that you like to use all the time but then for an evening you like extra coverage, you can just put a couple of drops of this in and it'll make your tinted moisturizer a, a kind of heavier coverage but it's still the feel that you really like. I got mine from Space NK and um, they were £36. I'll put a link down below to where you can buy them from. I wear the colour N20. Uh, I'm quite pale, I've got a little bit of fake tan on at the moment from a job um, but normally I'm quite a little bit paler than this and it, the colour matches perfectly. I mean you can obviously, it's more expensive, buy more than one colour um, if, but they have a, such a huge range of colours, I'd be surprised if you couldn't find the right colour for you. I bought these as well. Now I bought the Radiance Drops because I suffer with really, really dry skin. So you just pop a couple of these in and kind of gives you moisture. And I feel like they really work. I really, really love it. So I'm going to show you how it goes on. Now I'm actually going to prime my face first. I'm using Evlon Radiance Primer. Um, I used the one, I actually used the primer without an SPF in just because for work it doesn't kind of have a big flashback so if you have a really um, high sun protection factor and of course it's brilliant and I always recommend sun protection um, but if you're going to be taking lots of photos or selfies on a night out or like me you go into castings if you don't have high SPF you don't get like a really white kind of shield underneath so when you take a photo with a flash your face is the colour it should be rather than really white there you go, just put primer on. Now, I've been in daily life, I've been mixing this with um, tinted moisturiser or an old foundation, just to, so it's not too heavy. Now the general rule of thumb with this is, is that you only need to buy one pot of stuff and you can put one drop in to make kind of a tinted moisturiser kind of consistency, two drops for medium coverage, three drops for full coverage and four drops for complete total coverage. So you can really tailor it to your skin or how you're feeling or whatever coverage you need for wherever you might be going. It looks like this. It's like a little pipette. Oh, it's going to drip. And it's really, really high pigment. And I'm just going to drop kind of one, two, three. I'm going to do four to show you the total coverage. So drop four drops on. I mean, you could do five or six if you want, you can do one, you can do obviously whatever. And they're kind of tiny little drops, so as you can see, you think that won't last a long time, but it really will last forever. And if you're on the go, you only need to take this one thing with you and it co kind of covers all bases, which is great for packing if you want to pack light. And then I'm going to use the Radiance Drops. And I just, re well, I'm still experimenting, but I've been kind of putting two or three drops in. It's like a really nice face oil. It's not got an oily texture though. Um, it's not, because at first I was a bit like, oh my god, I have a really oily face. And then I'm just going to mix those two together on the back of my hand. And I'm actually, that's all I'm going to mix it with. Just so you can see really how pigmented this stuff is. And obviously if you want to put a moisturiser in there, or you don't have to put the primer on your face, you can mix the primer with, with the foundation. Um, so it makes, can you see, it's, it's almost like, it's a bit of a funny doesn't feel like you'd want it to feel nice and creamy, it feels a bit funny, um, but it goes on amazing. So I'm just going to dot it around my face. Like so. And then I'm going to use, here it is, my trusty beauty blender, which I absolutely love. I mean, this is disgusting, I'm sorry I do clean it, but um, after a while it just stops cleaning. I need a new one. But this is just amazing for everything just wet it squeeze out the wet and just dab away and it just blends everything so I'm gonna lean in so you can see how this is going on I mean I can't really see properly but hoping you guys at home can kind of see how well this covers 
and I've still got loads on the back of my hand so I haven't used it all yet. I'm just doing this roughly, obviously normally I'd spend more time. So, without obviously properly doing it in a mirror, you can see how that took about 60 seconds and you just dab it all over your face and just keep going and it just blends in. I'm going to lean right into the camera so you can kind of have a look at how it looks. I mean, I think it looks really good. I mean, it just, go, just goes completely all over your face. Such a nice coverage. I barely feel like I've got anything on. I feel like like there's nothing on my face and I imagine if you don't mix it with the radiance drops it's even thicker um, you can add more in you can put another layer on I mean I, I don't really think you need to I don't even really feel like I need to put on too much concealer I'm very happy with the results I would recommend this to anyone I think it's just such a, a, a unique product because you can tailor it to, to your needs um, tailor it to your skin it's just absolutely fab, I love it, it's so easy. Most people are put off by, oh, can I be bothered to mix it? Can I be bothered to carry this around and have to do all the experimenting with it? But it is it's so worth it, it's such a fantastic product and I'll be buying it again and again when it runs out. I just feel like it leaves your skin just completely, almost flawless really, which for me, for work, is so beneficial. So I would recommend buying this product I mean, I'd say both of them because this, this is fab for, for me with dry skin, uh, but you don't need this. So if you don't want to spend loads and loads of money, don't go out and buy this. You, if you want a, kind of a, to add an oil to it and you've already got one at home, I suppose you could just use that. Uh, but this, I'd say, is an absolute must. And normally I will, would put concealer on and then I'd set it all over my face, but you actually don't really need to set it. And I have worn it without putting powder on and it does just doesn't move. It stays on your face all day. It's really, really good. So um, a massive thumbs up from me. I would actually give this a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. See you later.